guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and this is my review of Manjaro Linux which has just released its latest version that is 17.0.4. Now Manjaro name is inspired from Mount Kilimanjaro. Philip Mueller is its lead developer who is from Germany. Manjaro is not as old as other popular Linux distributions like Debian or Ubuntu, but it has become very popular in its short history of 6 years. The primary aim of this distribution is to provide arch experience of cutting edge technologies to people who are not very tech savvy or computer expert to get into the complexity of making an Arch system from scratch. So in other words, it aims to be a user-friendly version of an Arch system, which is pretty evident from the installation process itself. Installation of Manjaro is done through the Calamaris installer, which presents all the installation options in a simple and clean manner. So for ease of installation, I give it 10 out of 10. Now Manjaro also offers pretty decent list of flavors. It comes with 4 official editions, XFCE, KDE, GNOME and Architect. However, there are 7 additional flavors to cover the taste of majority of Linux users out there. These flavors are community edition maintained by members of Manjaro team. I personally love the dip-in flavor for its beautiful looks and features like control center which allows you to change settings with one click. But if you are a fan of customization and tweaking your desktop, I recommend you go for KDE version. Now once the installation is complete, you get all the basic applications. The pre-installed applications varies and depends on the flavor that you choose. Manjaro follows a rolling release model, which nowadays is quite popular and followed by majority of Linux distribution. This allows you to upgrade your system to a new version automatically without reinstalling the whole system. Now Manjaro has its own software repository and does not use its Arch repos. However, the packages released on Arch repos are first tested for Manjaro and then eventually get into Manjaro stable repo. Manjaro maintains three repository, unstable, where the package is entered roughly a day or two after it is released on Arch repos. After some testing, it moves to testing repo, which usually takes a week. Now after thorough testing, the package goes into the stable repo of Manjaro, which is usually two weeks behind the Arch repos. So Manjaro is never as cutting edge as Arch, but it is as close to Arch as you can get. However, Manjaro does gives you access to Arch user repository or AUR in short, which is a community driven repository for Arch user. It's a platform to share new packages from the community. Most packages that goes into Arch official repo start from AUR. The AUR community has the ability to vote for or against a package. If a package becomes popular enough, it enters Arch official repository. Now for testing purpose, I installed the KDE version and the Dipin community edition. And I was quite impressed by the performance of the system. Everything works pretty well and the performance was very smooth and there were no bugs or error pop-ups of any sort that I encountered. The distribution is very matured and I think it's very capable of being a daily driver. Now you also get the option to install multiple Linux kernel and switch between kernels which is pretty nice. It also has a hardware detection utility which helps you automatically install appropriate driver for your hardware. Now some of the cons that I can think of is that for people who have been into Ubuntu, Mint or Debian ecosystem, there's a bit of learning curve getting to know Pac-Man and other system stuff. Also Manjaro from its next iteration will stop supporting 32-bit systems. So if you have some old computer you may have problem there. Alright now my final thoughts. Manjaro is a very matured and polished Linux distribution that is based on Arch and it has a very strong community behind it and it also gives a lot of option to its user in terms of flavors or additions. The performance is very smooth and I think it is one of the best Linux distribution currently available. I definitely recommend you to give it a try and I'm sure you will be impressed too. Alright so that was all for today. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you like this video kindly press the like button. If you have any comment suggestion or feedback kindly type that in, in the comment box and if you want to see more such videos please subscribe to my channel XPS Tech. Thank you again for watching this and I'll see you next time.